before I came it, was, it seemed quite da daunting because, well, just the size of it and all the people, but when I got to here it, it wasn't as scary as you thought because everyone was really welcoming and um, it was quick to make friends because there's so many people just to be around. Make this one of your main choices because it is a really good school. I'm really glad that I chose to come here. The very first thing I say to, to students on induction day, when I stand on, on the, the stage and say, smile at your teachers, you will get a better response from them, uh, you'll feel more relaxed, uh, and it creates a happy classroom. One of the seeds that we try to sow in staff training is catch them being good. Very few children can resist being praised. Sometimes they're a bit embarrassed about it at the time, but deep down they're really pleased that somebody has just seen them doing something really good, has stopped and, and commented on a piece of work, or indeed just commented on a piece of, of, of nice behaviour. And I think that that's one of the ways that we can make absolutely certain that even in a school of 1600, people feel individually valued and individually noticed. And I think praise is really important. And of course, it's, it's very nice when students praise staff as well. And again, I think that that's fundamental to the quality of relationships that we have here. We have high expectations of them from the minute they walk through the door and I think that they queue into that quite quickly. I think they know that we're going to get the best out of them and that we expect them to, to fulfil their potential here. In a way, we sometimes take the pressure off a bit with homework in the first term because we think it's more important that they make friendships and get involved in clubs and activities. Adam says busy people are happy people and he thinks that they need to um, join clubs get involved in things like the mock trial, drama, you name it, they get involved in it. Students can see staff here have a huge workload, they're on time with their marking, they're piling preparation in and yet they're rolling their sleeves up and putting on a drama production or playing in a wind band because I think it is what makes working here really good fun and staff want to have fun working with students. Rachel Mays, who's my deputy and who is one of the very busiest people here, she runs the, the bar mock trial competition with the, the sixth form and they won recently. If she can find the time in her very busy schedule to do that, then there's really no excuse for any of the rest of us. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please start. My role as Head of Year 9 is uh, looking after around about 350 uh, students that are entering into Whitley Bay High in September. Um, I support those students on the transition from middle school into high school. I uh, look after their well-being, uh, making sure that they're happy in, in Whitley Bay High and that they're getting on um, in lessons, that they're getting involved in things and uh, that they're working to their, to their potential. It's very, very important that students uh, feel happy and settled in school because if they're happy and settled, therefore they're learning. Naturally, they're, they're very, very worried about the, the size of the school and I think that they all sorts of rumours go through the generations about how dreadful the high schoolers are. But within a day, two days, they're, they're flying around as if they own the place. Um, well, you just have to look at the art behind me to realise how daunted I was and to think of the challenge that kind of lay ahead for me in the, the forthcoming year. So, I mean, I remember last year when I came in for my interview and I looked around and everywhere I went there was artwork and I was just so sort of overwhelmed and sort of fired up to ready to go as well. So, yeah, it was quite daunting but exciting at the same time. The challenging bit is trying to make it interesting to everybody and trying to captivate the, the audience of everybody in your class because if you target one group of people, if you target girls for, for instance, if you target them then the boys aren't always interested so it's trying to find a generic target for a, a project that everyone can be interested in as well. Eight, five, yeah.
We really encourage mass participation here. Um, obviously, you've got you know some really high performers. We do have elite level athletes in the school, uh, you know, who do compete nationally. Um, but you know, one of our real important aims in, in the PE department is to get everybody involved in some respect um, in any kind of sport that they want. So hopefully, you know, they'll get the hook. They'll they'll really enjoy the activity. And once they leave the school, you know, they'll, they'll carry on with that for the rest of their life. I think it is uh, very, very useful for students um, lower down the school to see our sixth form and see the success of our sixth form and see how much our sixth form students are involved in the lower school as well. Uh, we're aware that um, students in year 11 have many different career aspirations and uh, ideas about what they want to do in the future and therefore we interview all our Year 11 students to uh, check what they're thinking of doing in the future and making sure that uh, we have the courses that will suit them. We make sure we try to gear the advice that they get to their career or college or university aspiration to make sure they're making right choices about their post-16 options because their post-16 options will certainly affect the rest of their lives. Every single child that comes to this school benefits from the fact that all the teachers are trying new ideas, are up to date with, with latest educational research and are very interested in creating a really positive learning environment for every single classroom and every single child in it. One of our main aims is for, to help and support students to see the links between the skills that they're developing in the different subjects. And we do that in a lot of different ways. We collaborate together as teachers from different subject areas to plan cross-curricular courses. And also we look at how we can share good teaching methods between different departments. The training in this school for staff is fantastic and we do do um, fantastic activities in school that engage students because technology is developing very quickly and students are, do require to be motivated and as a school our main push is on good teaching. Um, and students enjoying their education and therefore the learning at, at that top level. It's pretty obvious everything you read in the papers or see in the news, um, most of it's, it's science related where it's sort of bringing on um, people to uh, the economy, creating new jobs or just creating new things for the human race or to help the planet. We can encourage them by providing an environment where they enjoy science and are stimulated by it and it answers some of the problems they have as individuals and I think we're very successful at Whitley Bay Science Department because at the moment we've got record numbers taking science at A-levels which is the first time students ever choose whether to do science or not. We've got record numbers across physics, chemistry and biology but also um, for our more vocational scientists, those who perhaps don't want to do a research degree, we do a applied science and we're now the UK's largest applied science centre for AQA. So as I say, the students must be enjoying themselves and getting something from the subject. Well, I have to say it has exceeded all my expectations um, in terms of the fact that, that um, what my daughter and I like about the school is that um, it treats young people um, with a great deal of respect. It has a very um, adult ethos about the school um, that, that she certainly feels um, as if she's given a lot of opportunities and that uh, when she has a problem or a difficulty that she is listened to and staff do their very best to, to help her. It's a warm feeling and it's, uh, it's, I would say it's also a relaxed feeling, which uh, I think is a key point. Um, we felt as soon as we walked through the door that um, the students had a relaxed air about them. We didn't regard them as pupils from that point of view. Perhaps students might be too strong a word as well, but the, there was certainly a community feeling. Everybody expects schools to deliver good examination results, everybody expects schools um, to, to, to help students grow up. But one of the things which is, is often underestimated is that, that schools have a huge role in the development of people at a, a critical point in their lives. But for, for us, between 13 and 18, we're developing all sorts of skills and talents in them. But if they don't feel good about themselves at the end, then all the examination results won't really count for very much. It's the atmosphere of the school. It's the way in which the staff do, uh, obviously, uh, pay heed to and listen to the needs of the students and the interests of the students and allow them to develop as individuals. This lunchtime we've been watching the Carnegie Reading Group presenting back their ideas about the books that they've been reading and we all saw very lively entertaining um, presentations where students were really encouraged to develop their thinking and develop their own independent response. For the past few weeks we've been reading a uh, just a couple of books that are being picked by, uh, I don't know who exactly, the Carnegie Award people. And um, 
we're supposed to read them, and then the winner gets announced to us near the last week, and we'll write reviews and like just just really talk about the books, and um, just it all concludes into that presentation there where we give our presentations about the books. That's really just a snapshot of the kinds of things that we do. We've got creative writing groups, we've got students in sixth form doing um, many different types of reading groups and going off to theatre and going to London on trips. We've got students involved in mock trial and debating competitions and um, next year I think we're going to introduce a public speaking competition so there's many different opportunities for students to be creative and to, to um, have an outlet for their creativity. Right from the beginning of year nine, we start off doing a big cross-curricular project with maths and science where students are kind of encouraged to not see themselves as, oh, I'm a mathematician or I'm a scientist or I really love to read or write. We try to start them off using skills that are going to help them be successful in all of those subjects, but to also bring those skills together and to see what they can achieve when they bring all of those skills together. Well, what we're trying to get into the year nine curriculum particularly is the idea of functional math. And so using their math skills in a variety of contexts. And we do that through a series of project-based activities where students can work together to really apply their skills and their mathematical understanding to lots of different problems. And things like that then do show the students that they, their skills can be transferred to lots of different problems, including those that will come across in other subjects, such as science and geography particularly. One of the fascinating things for us is seeing these rather shy, quite nervous Year 8 students come in and then five years later they go out fabulously adult, full of self-esteem, full of care for others and I think that that is created by this accent on being happy at school. Um, I've absolutely loved this. I think it's been a brilliant year, it's been a good challenge, it's been a massive learning curve but I feel like I've come on a million miles since where I was last year and I think that's all down to the support of the staff in the department and in the wider school environment as well. It's really friendly and the staff are always like helpful. They do like the taster sessions at the beginning so you don't feel awkward from a different school. They just make you feel like you're part of the school from the moment you get there. So good night until you all give me your hand if we be friends and Robin shall restore amen. Whitley Bay High School is like no other school that I've worked in. I've worked in quite a few schools. Um, I've been at Whitley Bay now, this will be my ninth year. It's, it's got a fantastic atmosphere. Students enjoy being at this school, staff enjoy being at this school. Everybody's always fully supported, whether it's students or staff, and it really is a fantastic place to be. You know, I love coming to work in the morning. <laughs>